Now for each scenario, the strategy for managing risks may vary, so we'll briefly note a few of them. When planning to implement a new hardware or new software, we need to test the product in a lab or testing environment and perform vulnerability assessment against the product. Mm -hmm. By finding the vulnerability prior to implementation, you can plan carefully for how to mitigate those threats, or if it's not possible to mitigate them all, you may accept the remainder of risk. Now, at, at the same time, if you already have a risk policy in place, then you must check if the change caused by the new product will affect other products that are in place. Mm -hmm. Also, check if your security policy allows this change. When introducing a change for a risk management environment or a managed environment, all policies will be affected or changed. Now, your IS department should carefully apply the changes to any related policy and notify all the personnel that have relation in planning or conducting these policies. Mm -hmm. Finally, the attacks that could not be prevented with risk management should be assessed and response steps must be written. This then goes to the incident response team. Every day brings up new threats. So when planning for managing threats, natural threats should be considered as well. Man-made disasters like protesting, assault, war, etc., and smaller events like cyber attacks and social engineering should be counted as threats when planning for risk management. Internal users can be identified as employees or visitors who could introduce a threat by exploiting a vulnerable or weak point, like using a USB on a corporate computer or replying to a phishing email. We should separate between inner intentional malicious acts and unintentional ones, but not with threats. Despite the intention of the user, the threat remains a risk that should be managed.